tutorial in this tutorial I just want to show you uh, the walkthrough of uh, sketchware the app that you can use to create any Android app on your phone so I have the uh, sketchware of my desktop here I believe you know about it that is why you are watching this video but meanwhile, if you do not know how to use it or how to uh, download the app, then I will drop a link to download the app in the description of the video. So you can go there, download it, install it just like a normal app, and then you can get started. Now, this app allows you to create any kind of Android app and the possibility is you know it's endless it all depends on your creativity so I'll be showing you around the app now so for you to create a new app you can see all the apps that I've created okay so you click on this plus sign here and then we have to give our application a name so I can say demo app uh, demo app then we can click on this icon here you can click here click on this icon and then say choose from gallery and uh, it will lead us to a gallery where we can pick uh, any picture so we can pick a picture I'll just look through um, let me go through my I think let's go to my download and pick something from there or let's just um, go to my pixel lab let's see uh, I think I have something that we can use there okay so let me use this uh, app logo that I created for my WhatsApp status then if you want to change other options you click on this advanced settings and here you'll be able to change your app color these are what you need to change the color accents for instance let's assume for my uh, own color let's say I want to use this amber then I'll come down here and uh, okay let's go for orange then I'll pick something gold okay so I'll pick this uh, do the same thing to all these other ones so you that is if you need to change uh, the color so I'll do that so you can pick the any color of your choice from here then this color which is white I may mean, just leave them and this other one I will um, take the same color again then this uh, highlight color I can make it at uh, that same color but a lighter one like this one okay so I'm done with that then of course package name it normally uh, comes you know is a name that is used to reserve your app on the Play Store so uh, myself I normally use uh, com dot uh, maybe Mr. BJ uh, then the uh, app name let's say the app name is a demo app so I can say demo app okay so then project name can enter anything here I can say demo demo app okay so I can say demo app okay all right so I have it like this then of course the version is one since it's the first time you are creating it so leave the version at one and just say create app okay so the app will be created and uh, this is the interface of the uh, sketchware app okay now let's get started I'm just going to show you through uh, some of the components or the the, the, the the part that you use to create your app now on this side of the app we have what we call views we have what we call views views are different things that you use to design the interface what do you intend that uh, the user of the app will be able to do use it to design the interface and put necessary things that you know that you now put to work later in the app for instance 
let's say this interface now i want to put uh, a kind of background that i'll be able to set background color so i can take a linear vertical which is the second one here now to bring anything to the interface just press and hold it down like this then you drag it so if i put this here now we we'll say that we have it here and you can see if i click on it you can see the name here it's called linear one so now for easy identification by the time you want to do the logic on the events you can give each of your uh, views give them a definite name so for this linear one for instance you see that here we have the properties of the linear one so i can scroll down to this place where the last one where we have id here the id here i click on it and instead of linear one i can say bg you know i said it's like the background so i can give it bg then of course you can see that it's just tiny straight so i can come here and click on width here and i will say match parent that is it should fill the entire space that is left before it was unwrapped content and i can also give it a definite uh, size in dp like if i say 200 so it will become wider but for this we're going to say match parent so that it will fill the entire screen so meanwhile normally when you fit, brought something like this these views normally have a padding inside they normally have a padding of 8 dp inside so that whatever you bring next for instance if i bring this linear edge now to this place you discover that it's not touching the edges it's not touching the both edges so because this one the first one has a, a padding of 8 dp so you always try to remove it if you don't need it click on this padding and here it says or you can put your zero and you can see that th that linear is now touching the two edges so let's say i said this one is background so maybe i want to give it color so you can come down scroll to this uh, side here and you see background color background color so you can say okay the background of my app i want it to be let's say till let's just say just for instance or cyan or green so you can pick a color so you can see it there now if i click on this other one this linear two so you can see the background and if you want it to be the same color with the uh, tool that is the header here which you have changed earlier so you can make it the same thing by coming to background color pick orange and choose the same color that you have chosen before so that makes your app to so but for me i can just uh, go ahead and change it again let's say i want to use um, something like uh, indigo and uh, i'm going to use something like this dark one here okay so that is it so other things we have we have a uh, scroll uh, scroll horizontal and scroll vertical that is just like linear vertical and uh, linear uh, horizontal just that it's scrollable if you put you can put items that will be more than the screen so that the user can scroll down to see other stuff that is just the difference there okay so uh, we have this tab layout this tab layout is normally used to create a tab if your android app you want people to be able to you know to switch tabs you want people to be able to switch tabs like normal you know on android app so you can use that there we have the bottom navigation tab that is you want to put a kind of bottom navigation at the bottom of your of your page here so everything is going to appear here but don't worry it will you can uh it will definitely come to the bottom because it's a bottom navigation uh button then we have this one we call card view which you can use to create a kind of view that you can curve the edges we have a uh, uh, swipe to refresh here which you can put at the back of uh, something like um, a web view for instance you are creating a browser 
so, and you need you know people need to refresh if the network is not going well they can swipe down to refresh so you can put your swipe to refresh here under the widget here we have what we call text view text view will allow you to put a text that you just put there a text that people will not edit you just want to display a text like you want to write the name of a website the name of an app uh you know do you want to design design the interface the welcome screen of an app you can use text view to put the name of the app why the edit text is the one that you know that people need to click and edit people will click that place and enter you like you want like you want to get an input from somebody that is when you use the edit text so you have auto complete text view the multi auto complete text view which are doing all the same thing you have the button which you can put just like a normal button we have what we call material button is just the same so now if you look at this place here you discover that everything i'm setting they are going down that is they are going what they are going down or uh, vertically so but if i put this button inside this uh, linear um, horizontal put the two of them you see that they are arranged horizontally so that is the difference between vertical and linear and uh, horizontal linear okay so um we have uh, okay i've talked about swipe to refresh i've talked about swipe to refresh then we have uh, image view where we can put an image we can put an image then we have a checkbox we have circle image view there is just like image view we have checkbox where we can uh, include a checkbox in our app we have a radio button we have switch we have seek bar we have progress bar which you use to you know seek bar and progress bar they are like the same thing use them to manage the progress of an activity then we have rating bar we have search view we have web view which is very very important you know for anything that has to do with uh internet browsing we have list view we have grid view and so on and so forth so there are so many of them here we also have ad view where you can put adverts in whatever you are doing then we have a youtube player and of course if i click this back button here then i can see other things like digital clock time picker date picker calendar and so on so this is these are just the views that we have here then we move on to event event is where you create what will happen in the app after designing the interface here then you now assign something to each of these views that you have added in your app so you that's where you tell the app what to do okay so now normally there's usually the first one which is what the uncreate event and the uncreate event is what happens immediately the app is launched what is the first thing that the app will do on its own you no know, is it going to show you a screen is it going to uh flash something or something you know like that so that is what you define in your on create event then you can click on this plus sign to add other events like activity import on activity create so then um on activity results on back press when the person press back button on activity resume on pause and and so on and so forth then on menu maybe you want to add menu so all those things are there then of course you can see on tab layout that is because i added a tab layout on the uh interface so you can see that here so i'll close that you can add any activity you want then you define it what should happen when that uh, that activity is taken then here you can add your views like your button your text view give them an uh, on click event if you click on this plus here you see the bg you can see the other linears and other things that i have there so i can tell the app what should happen when all these views are clicked so you can add it for instance if i take this web view now say when web view uh web view one when it's loading 
once it, the page starts loading and when the page finish loading i can add it so i will now define what should happen when the page starts loading and uh, what should happen when the uh the page finish loading so that is how it is done if you have not subscribed to my channel make sure you subscribe now because uh, I will be doing more videos on this. This uh, sketchware is very good for you to uh, create some app. At least uh, I think I have like few a app, few apps made with this now. They are they are they are, uh, they are all on Play Store. So then you can uh, see component. You can add component from here. That is if you have created component. So so if you have created component, we are going to component soon. So then we have drawer. We have more block so you can create more block from uh from here you can import more block you can add more block from here okay so then we have component the component are things that will help you to add more functionalities to your app things that you know ordinarily were not on that uh in, the, in those views so for instance like if you click on this plus sign you can add an intent this is intent. Intent normally is used to move from one screen to another. So you, if you want, uh, when somebody clicks something, it should take take them from one screen to another. Then you can use intent. We have shared pre preference, which you use to, uh, you know, uh, find out the last uh, option that the person picked before, you know, so that they can continue from where they stop and all things like that we have a vibrator we have calendar we have timer that you can use to time or an activity maybe the activity should happen for five seconds then something else should happen you have dialogue we have media player where you can add music like background music you have sound pool we have object and meter which you can use to animate object we have camera we have file picker and so on and so forth we have the text to speech and speak to text and then we have interstitial hardware, Bluetooth connect, and so on and so forth. So all these are components that you can add to your app to make the app more functional. Just uh, you know, not just just those views. You can add other things from this uh, using this component. So that is it for this particular video. Uh, I'm not going to do it much. So in all the next videos that I'll be doing, I will be explaining how you can use this app to create some certain projects like browser create a quiz uh convert your web any any website to an app and so on and so forth so thank you for watching make sure you subscribe and like the video please drop a comment if there's any issue you are having drop a comment and uh, you know when you like these videos and you drop comments it's enable the uh, the youtube algorithm to promote this video the more so please subscribe and like the video thanks so much and I'll see you in the net my next video bye for now